All right, guys, so today I'm gonna to be doing two card shows and maybe also the Daytona flea market if I do have time. Not sure as of the moment. First, we are at the Palm Coast card show. Now it's advertised between like, what, 20 to 30-ish tables. But the reason why I'm going here is it's a brand new show. Sometimes you're able to run into new dealers that have never set up before. And that means fresh inventory. So hopefully I can find some really great vintage cards here and also some other bargains through some value bins. But I'll take you with me. How's it going? How's it going, man? Too bad. Excuse me one sec. No, you're good. Since he has him this year, it would be a lot better. Yeah. Um, you can always check off the internet. Who is this? Uh, the guy who put it back in, the running back? Yeah. Well, what was it? I'm looking forward to fantasy football. Man. Yeah. We got, from a high, I've got all my relatives playing. It's called Family Cry. Yeah. It was hilarious. Uh, two years ago, never finished in last. I had to get a tattoo of anybody's choice. <laughs> And I was in last for a while. They sent me like dolphins and all kinds of, you know, just hilarious. But, yeah, we don't. So 25 here, do 20? Yeah. No problem, got it. So first value bin here at the show. I picked up these nine cards for $20. Primarily baseball, but there was also one Brady from I think 2009 or 10. Check them out. Thank you. 
All right, where would you be at on the three? Where are you at? You had what, 90, 40? So I must have sold it. It's 141 total, so. Do 120? Done. There you go. I want everybody to be happy. Perfect. All right, so we just picked up these three cards for $120. We have an Archives 2017 signature of Raphael Devers, Notani number 25, and a 2012 Mike Trout. It's good. It's kind of all priced. <laughs> We're going to help Bowman 1951 help his set right over here. We found a full set, but well, not technically a full set. So many different cards in there, stars and commons, mid to high grade. So we're FaceTiming right now, going through card by card. Let's turn this around so you can see some of this stuff. You're going to be amazed. This right here. A four. Pull that out. Okay. Munger and an eight. Number 11, PSA 8. Wow, I'm, I'm just a little concerned about what that would cost. What do you think your eight commons would run about? In an eight, they're probably about $50 for these at least. Number 11? For number, yeah, for number eight. No, for, uh, eight. Sorry. I mean, it's beautiful. <laughs> I need it. Oh, number 11. <laughs> yeah, number 11. <laughs> Look at it here like that. No, you're good. About, um, about 120 bucks. Oh, he's at a 120. Up next, we have number 41. I know that one. Okay. I know that image. We have 42 and a 6. I'll get him Steve. Bird Bigford? Yep. Hold out. Oh, we have another one in a 2. Do you want the 6 or the 2? How nice is it? Is the 2 centered? Maybe there's like grease or something? The 2 is centered. It looks nice, too. It's uh, a go with the 2. It's a great looking too. Um, yeah. yeah, it's a gum stain. I I How about it? Yeah. Pull it out. Oh, there's another one over there. There's a. Oh, there's another six. Let's see what looks better. Um, it's centered. I'm gonna grab the more centered one. All right. All right. So I just heard back from my friend, and then. So I want to try to combine both of the deals. Do you have all the cards? Yeah. So the deal on these, that, yeah. that's exactly okay. where it's at. So I would like to be at a thousand for everything. So you have those and then these three right here. Oh. We were at what, 570 on the other ones? Yeah. 580. 580. Yeah. And then this one is at 300 bucks for this. You want a two spawns? Yeah, I have the two spawns there. Yeah, the 580, that's, that's solid. And then whatever you want to do on these ones. And where would you be at? This one, I have spent some bucks on that. Spun. 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 That's a good price for that card. That's what they're selling about. So like, I would probably be able to get 280 to 290 if I was gonna sell it. Really? Yeah. And then, uh, it's just what I spent for, just to get it. No, I understand. I'm it. trying to try to spend a thousand bucks. I mean, 140 is right there. That's probably where I'd sell it at. Like I had notes like- This one you would only sell for 140? Well, it's off centered and it's an older label too. Oh, okay. All right. Like people are pretty centering freaks well, and then- get this one. Get this one. What are we gonna offer for this one? I'd probably be out like 80 okay. on that one. So you're good with 80 on that. Yeah. 660. Well, he wanted to do 550 on that, so I'd be at 630. I mean, I think it's pretty fair. I spent a lot of time as well going through all this type of stuff to get that deal on there. 
6.30 on it all. Because he would be at 5.50, I'd be at 80. And that's 6.30. All right, we'll do that. And if you have any room on those, I mean, I'd be able to work out it, something. It literally. No room. <laughs> yeah, it's no worries, I understand. Yeah. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, 20, and 30. So that's that. I'm gonna just write this down, it should be good. And I'll text my friend, we got him. Here we have, I think, like 16 or 17 cards from 1951 Bowman set, all mid to upper grades, as well as one card for myself. It's a 1960 Mantle Boyer. So between both deals, we ended up spending $630. Take a look at some of the different cards. My, uh, my mind's going, uh, going blank. You have seven here. What do you think you could do on it? I'm going to give you at least 30%. Off. Okay. So do Perfect. I appreciate it. Perfect. That's exactly what you wanted to be at. Here. This one wasn't in there. It was in another one. I don't know. Um, which one is that? Don't think that was in his stack. He was mostly looking for like twenty to thirty dollar range. Twenty, one forty. Perfect. Hey, thank you. I appreciate it. I guess it's a set building day today. Picked up seven 1952 tops for $130. Again, if you guys are trying to build some sets, let me know what numbers that you need. Have to be available during the weekend when I'm at shows, but I'll try my best to help you complete those. Beauty. It looks nice. I picked that up at the National. Uh, I had had a T206 Cy Young and I worked out a deal with cash and trade for that. No, that's good. That's a, no, it's a good looking four. Yeah, it's centered really well. I know one off the wall and it's sold this week for like a thousand. Jeez. Oh, this looks beautiful. Do seven on it since it's in fifty. We'll have a lot of room. I would do seven to twenty for you. Let's do it. Perfect. A big purchase of the show is this nineteen and fifty-four Bowman. Jackie Robinson. This card looks absolutely beautiful. I just recently got in some 54s of Wooly Mays. This card looks way nicer than that. So we picked this up for $720. Take a look. Uh, 
So it poured all the way over here, but we are now at show number two, Showtime Sports Cards. It definitely looks like it expanded since the last time I've been here, which is really cool to see. It's actually quite a few dealers. Let's find some deals. First deal here at the Jacksonville card shop, we got a 1938 Churchman's Jolos. Pretty common card, but it would looked in pretty decent shape. <laughs> Only one pickup, but you never know who sets up at a show. Hope you guys enjoyed this card show vlog. Tomorrow I will be going to St. Port Lucie, so you can watch that vlog on the channel next.